deer and some turkeys. It's that time of the year too where I, I really wanted to get over here and ride because it's starting to get dark so soon. Um, I forgot I was already in fifth. <laughs> Only got five gears, damn it! Um, it's getting that time of year where the sun's going down so early and animals are moving so they're out on the roads and shit more so I really wanted to get over here and, and have some fun roads because by all means roads it's just flipping suck man they're just it's that's what I do like about a supermoto is primarily I ride around town most of the time like the back streets and the back suburbs and kind of on the outskirts of town there's some places where you can kind of get off in the dirt I kind of hate doing that, but I mean, that's really all there is to ride. And that's what I do like about the Supermoto over like the FZ09. The FZ09, it just, it's so easy to do triple digits on that bike. I mean, you smack second gear and you're already doing a hundred. So, you know, that is nice about a Supermoto is to kind of just go play around town and jump stuff and whatnot, but. I really did want to just get over here and at least I got a little over 600 miles on her so I kind of got it broken in I haven't really stuck to a break-in procedure but I feel it's a little more broken in to go run her through the gears more so I finally wanted to get over here today's a nice day it's like it's supposed to be 70 but I know it's not 70 but I'd say it's a good 55 50 55 degrees and that's plenty warm enough for me that'll keep her happy uh, I'm only running like 150 on the temp gauge. That's the one thing about this DRZ. It runs super cold, like way colder than I ever thought. Now I know it's cold outside and I'm moving, but even if like I'm riding around slowly or stop and go traffic, it usually gets to 160 and that's it. I'm really surprised on how cold it runs. If you're worried that your bike's gonna overheat or anything, don't. Like the high speed fan kicks on at 200 roughly around 200 that's what the little temp gauge in the thermostat or the radiator says that outlaw racing uh, radiator cap I've got but it just always runs cold like I've never seen it get too hot it gets a little hot when you just you're just like sitting somewhere and it's just consecutively idling but not you know it heats up and the high-speed fan kicks on Before you know it she's cooled back down it's no no big deal as long as your high speed fans working you'll be fine i almost thought about buying a an override switch this facebook page uh, drz 400 owners the guy that runs it also has like a shop that he sells some some parts they have an override switch that mounts to your steering lock up there and it goes down to the plug on the uh fan and you unplug it, you plug in the switch, and then you plug the other side of the switch into the factory wiring harness. So that way if you forget to turn the fan off or, or turn the fan on, the thermostat will still kick the fan on, which is super nice. I, I can see people wiring up a dedicated switch and then forgetting to turn it on and their bike overheat and blow up. But his will react to the factory thermostat, and I think that's really neat. But I, I, I honestly just don't think you need one. Um, I was gonna buy one. I'm not 100% sure if I'm still in, but as cold as this bike's been running, I ain't gonna really worry about it. I'll probably wait till summer next year when it starts getting 90, 95 degrees and see what happens. See if she starts running hot on my off-roading or whatever I'm doing and uh, go from there. You know, if she's uh, starting to run a little hot, then I'll starting to run a little hot then I'll just buy that that switch and said it's it mounts right up underneath there on your steering lock so it's super easy to, to flip it on you know you flip it on real quick cool it down I don't think you need to like get excessive with it and overuse it I'd say if I start seeing like 180 on my temp gauge I'd probably flip her on just to prematurely cool her down but you know, you wouldn't want to flip it on at 150 and leave it on. You, 
you know, you're just going to burn your fan up. There's no point in that or your fuse. There's no point in doing that. But, you know, we'll see. Like I said, I don't really have any more plans for mods this year. I've been thinking about upgrading the headlight. I don't know what I want to do with that yet. The headlight is god awful. But I definitely want to upgrade the headlight. I don't know if I'm just going to put a brighter bulb or what I'm going to do. JNS Engineering has a really cool looking light, but I just think it's so expensive. And I don't really like the KTM headlights. I do like the KLX 450 headlight. That is a cool looking headlight. Uh, but again, I don't think I want to go that route. I don't really want to drop the front end off the bike. But we'll see. I definitely next year want to go hand guards and skid plate. I want to get protection on it, especially the skid plate. There's a couple times I've banged the stock skid plate on the on something and it you know scratched the frame and shit because that factory skid plate doesn't really do anything. It kind of sits just there to protect the engine a little bit. It's not really a skid plate, but actually when you go over something the frame slides over it and I don't you know it's just gonna scratch the paint off and rust the frame because it is steel. But so that's not anything I want to do right now. Cold weather's coming. Before too long, the bike's probably going to be sitting for weeks on end. So I just want to primarily focus on riding when I can. Next week isn't looking too good. Like cold weather, rain, possible snow. But you know, like I said, we'll see what the future brings.